I can't even begin to count how many times I've been asked to do a video about Linda Pearl, the actress who played Fonzie's girlfriend during season 10 of Happy Days. In this video, I'm going to talk about her role on that show, as well as a few others, and then provide an update regarding what she's doing now. But first, let me introduce myself. Hi folks, my name is Dave Sundstrom, and I like to think of myself as something of a pop culture historian, especially when it comes to music, movies, and television. Simply put, I love talking about this stuff. So with that said, let's get rolling. You know, I think it's kind of interesting that none of those video requests that I mentioned earlier ever seemed to say anything about Linda's role in the 1982 horror slasher film that starred William Shatner called Visiting Hours. But that's okay, I get it. For whatever reason, most folks just seem to remember Linda as Ashley on Happy Days. Now, a couple of random thoughts that cross my mind as I look at this picture. First and foremost, Heather O'Rourke left this world way too early. And secondly, does anyone else think that Linda is the spitting image of Shelley Long in this picture? Seriously, during the early 80s, these two actresses were super difficult for me to tell apart. So as long as we're talking about Happy Days, that TV show may have been the first place that I ever saw Linda on anything. During a couple of early episodes of Happy Days, Linda played a completely different character that went out with Richie. Yep, but before the Fonz jumped the shark and before Arnold's burned down, back when Happy Days was must-see viewing. During the late 70s, I also remember Linda in a couple of television movies based on a series of books by Rose Wilder Lane. For those who don't know, Rose was the real-life daughter of Laura Ingalls Wilder. Yep, good old half-pint from Little House on the Prairie. And I also remember Linda starring opposite Sean Casty in a TV movie called Like Normal People, where they played real-life couple Virginia Hensler and Roger Mayers, who, as this TV Guide advertisement tells us, were a real-life couple who were different, and the world didn't want them to fall in love. I saw this show when it originally aired on ABC, and I liked it quite a bit. After that, the next thing that I really remember Linda in was Happy Days. Truthfully, I thought that her character was going to marry the Fonz. But when that show's 11th and final season rolled around, Linda's character was gone. That didn't stop Linda, however. Throughout the 80s, she kept popping up as a guest star on all sorts of great TV shows of the time. And again, I have to ask, doesn't she look like Shelley Long? And then in 1986, Linda joined a new project that was near and dear to my heart. She played Andy Griffith's daughter Charlene during the first season of his TV drama, Matlock. After that, the rest of the 80s and 90s were chock full of more TV guest spots and uh, another full-time gig on a show called Robin's Hoods. And then in the late 2000s, Linda was a ton of fun to watch when she took on the recurring role of Pam Beasley's mother on the NBC comedy, The Office. And much to Pam's chagrin, her character becomes the object of Michael Scott's affection. Really funny stuff. I don't talk about The Office much because it's a relatively recent show when you compare it to all of the other material that I cover. But if you haven't ever watched this program, you really should. It's fantastic, especially the first few seasons. Isn't that always the case, though? Beyond TV and movies, Linda has been wowing people with her amazing voice for decades now. And to this day, that is the case. I stumbled across this glowing review of her jazz-filled cabaret act from a few years ago, and it is absolutely clear to me that Linda continues to knock people's socks off. In fact, it could be argued that while Linda continues to find work as an actress, her music career might be front and center right now. Also worth noting is that Linda has recently entered into a relationship with actor Patrick Duffy. Yep, the actor shared with People Magazine, the two of them have fallen in love and spend as much time together as possible. Prior to her relationship with Patrick, Linda was married four times. I'm not going to talk about all of those relationships, but I do think it's interesting that Linda's first husband was actor Desi Arnaz Jr., the son of Lucy and Desi, and the star, I might add, of a wonderful 80s TV show called Auto Man. 
But we'll have to talk about that show on another day, because today we're here to talk about Linda. If you want to keep up with everything going on in Linda's life, at least from an entertainment standpoint, I'd recommend following her on Twitter, where she is pretty darn active. And from time to time, she posts pictures of her and Bobby Ewing. Oops, I mean Patrick Duffy. Alright, back to happy days for one more thought. You know, Linda's character looks pretty darn cool on the back of Fonzie's bike there. But there was another love for the Fonz that may have truly been the one that got away. If you don't know who I'm yammering on about, I'm referring to the one and only Pinky Tuscadero. I've made a video about that character and the actress who played her, Roz Kelly. There it is. Go ahead and click on it. I'm pretty much done here. But first, please know that I truly appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Thanks so much.